Hi, my name is Frank Foti. I'm the CEO of the Telos Alliance and the founder of Omnia Audio. And we've been honored this year to be um, 2013 a Radio Magazine Pick Hit Award for something we call Omnia Direct. Omnia Direct is actually um, a concept that we've been thinking about wanting to do for the last 15 years, and that is being able to um, replace in the FM transmission path what's been known as the composite connection between an audio processor and an exciter. Up until now, that has always had to re remain in the analog domain because an FM composite signal requires a minimum of 53 kilohertz of um, spectrum. 38 kilohertz if you're transmitting in single sideband, that's a whole other discussion. In any case, there's always been a desire to replace that last connection of what's basically been a BNC to BNC RG58 cable and do it in the digital domain. OmniDirect is now an implementation that enables us to couple a digital audio processor that has a stereo generator directly into a modulator like this Nautel NV5 and I, the Nautel guys have this capability in the entire NV series of where the stereo generator from, from an Omni 11 can be connected in a linear electrical fashion directly into the modulator stage of this transmitter. Maybe wondering, well, Frank, is there any benefit to doing that? Well, quite honestly, there is. There's some technical benefits, and there's, and I'll close by saying there's a sonic benefit, and I'll give you that reason um, as we as we wrap up this little discussion. Electrically, in the existing let's say, domain of doing it where we have to take the digital signal, convert it to analog, pass it over the RG58 cable into the digital exciter, resample it and get it into the modulator, there are still a couple of last little functions that can cause slight overshoots due to the filtering and the resampling, and also adding one more stage of D to A and A to D will do something sonically, even if it's so subtle, to the sound of the signal. The fact that we've eliminated that last set of conversions now enables this modulator and this transmitter to faithfully reproduce 100% what the output of the audio processor does. Therefore, your peak control is as precise on the air through the transmitter as the audio processor is capable of doing. So we've probably actually bought the broadcaster back even if it's a couple of a tenths of a dB, guess what? I know all of you broadcasters are looking for every tenth dB in modulation, loudness, performance, clarity, and that competitive edge. We can now deliver that with the Omnia Direct. Most importantly, as I've always said, it's all about the sound. The fact that we're removing that last set of conversions does buy us some improved sonic performance. The low end is tighter. The high end is opened up a bit more, and the stereo performance that's coming out of the stereo generator in the Omnia, or you know, probably down the road of the future, I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to assume here that this is going to become a ubiquitous thing. Whatever the stereo performance of your stereo generator is, that's what's going to print on your radio, and the listener in the end is going to benefit. That's all part of you know an overview as to what Omnia Direct is all about. It, uh, as of right now, it's um, uh, a real live running technology. For more information, please check the uh, Omnia Audio website at www.omniaaudio.com. And once again, I'd like to thank Chris Shear and the staff and, and the committee of the Radio Magazine for honoring us with this 2013 Radio Magazine Pick Hit Award. Thank you very much.